Uh, hi, today I'm going to be showing a quick demo of the voice agent that I have created. Uh, we're going to be doing a demo, we're going to be having a look at the repo, and we're going to be having a look at some code as well. Uh, so let's start off with a quick demo so that you can see what it does, and then we can go and have a look at the repository and look at some code. Uh, so I'm just going to say, uh, I work in Web3, so let's get an update on sort of the Web3 news for today. Uh, hi, can you please create me a quick sort of 20 second, 30 second podcast uh, about the Web3 and blockchain news from the last 24 hours? So then it's going to go away and do its thing. And then hopefully in not too long, we'll get something back. Uh, and I have Here's a quick podcast segment on the latest in Web3 and blockchain news. Welcome to your Web3 update. In the past 24 hours, significant developments in blockchain technology have emerged. One, NFT marketplace growth. New metrics show NFT marketplace volumes rising, suggesting renewed interest from collectors. Major platforms are innovating to attract users back. Two, blockchain in agriculture. An interesting initiative from Phoenix Contact was announced, showcasing a prototype for precision agriculture in Egypt using blockchain to enhance hydroponic farming. This could transform how we approach sustainable agriculture. Three, regulatory shifts. In regulatory news, discussions continue around how governments will regulate cryptocurrencies with a focus on fostering innovation while ensuring consumer protection. Stay tuned for more updates. This should fit within a 20 to 30 second time frame. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, so, so that's how the application works. Uh, you can see on the right side of my screen, this is the, the land graph flow. Uh, so you have the, the start node, uh, which is me speaking into this UI. Uh, then we do some speech to text, which uses OpenAI Whisper. Uh, I suppose I could run something locally to reduce some of the latency there. Uh, then we pass to a React agent, which is a very simple React agent, which we can have a look at soon. Uh, that React agent has uh, one tool, which is the Tavily APIs, which is to go and do some search. Uh, and then we have the text-to-speech using 11 labs. Uh, so that obviously enables me to sort of get that audio and then put the audio back out through the UI. So this is what we're doing. Uh, we can have a quick look at the repo here. So this is an uh, this is open with an MMT license. It's a, a copy of the LangGraph agent agent chat and then I've made some changes obviously to have this nice nice UI and some other sort of uh, uh, components on the back end uh, but I'll post a link to to this repo it has a all this the API keys you need to add uh, and some other sort of general general things uh, and now if we have a look at the repo itself so you'll see here, this is a very basic React agent. Uh, I can link to React agents, but this is one of the sort of pre-built agents that LangGraph offers. Uh, and we, we connect some tools, we connect a, an LLM, which I can quickly show you where that is. Um, configuration. We are using GPT-40 Mini. Yeah, we should probably use a better model because it would be more fun for the demo. But anyway, there you go. Very cheap. Uh, so this is the React agent here. This is how we set up the, the graph. So we have three nodes, essentially, speech to text, React agent, and text to speech. And then we connect those all up with the various edges, start to speech to text, speech to text to React agent and so forth. Uh, and then we compile the graph and away we go. 
let's just have a quick look at sort of text to speech, for example. Uh, so we just have a, a function here that takes in the the message that uh, I've I've given it. Uh, oh, sorry, speech to text uh, takes in the audio input rather. Uh, checks for open a API key, does some conversions, sends to Whisper, uh, checks some formatting, and then returns the 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 messages. So yes, that's that, that's the speech to text, and you can have a look through the other the other components. There's also this prompt component. As you can see, this is a super simple prompt. I could probably work on this a lot more to make it a lot more better, uh, a lot better rather, and, and obviously to fit different use cases. But the use case that I'm building for right now is to create little podcasts for myself to sort of stay up to date with various things that I'm interested in. This is something that I do anyway. Uh, and this is sort of a fun sort of interactive way I can do this for myself. So that's the, the prompt. And yeah, there's, there's nothing much else to it. Uh, we can have a quick look at the tools. Uh, <laughs> very simple once again. Uh, you can extend this uh, greatly to, to suit your use case. Uh, the purpose of this uh, application is just as a base to build on. Uh, I found myself, I built a lot of different things like this and I felt that having a, a good base to work from was, was quite helpful. Uh, and so I wanted to sort of share this with you. Uh, that's all I have for now. Um, if you'd like to suggest a use case for this app or for another application, let me know. I'm already building some things myself, but I'd love to love to hear from you. Um, and yeah, let's let's ask this AI for for a five second outro of what I can what I can say. Uh, hi, can you give me a five second summary to my Langraph voice agent base YouTube video? Make it catchy so that people remember me and come back and like and subscribe. Unlock the future of tech with Landgraph. Hit like, subscribe, and join our journey into the world of innovation. <laughs> awesome.